Hello guys and welcome to the 8th tutorial in the series and today I want to go over uh, static meshes quickly so I'm going to explain what static meshes are how you can find them how they're used and I'm going to go through a bunch of different settings for them so first of all I'm just going to open up a blank map well that I made earlier just going to click existing map open it up, uh, okay here we go let's give it a second to load and I'll load and I'll close this okay so basically a static mesh is an object in the game so I just go to play you know I'm just going to expand that quickly this is the purpose of the video but yeah as you'll see objects such as these uh, crates for example are all static meshes so you want probably wondering oh how do I make those how do I use them okay so get them you want to go to your content browser control shift F and go to the static meshes tab here you'll have a bunch of presets made by epic games for their game unreal tournament so i'm just going to quickly so i'm just going to show you the basics of a static mesh so this object here is a basic static mesh As you'll see so to put them in the game you close it you right click so first of all you've got your standard static mesh here you're only going to need to worry about two of these different types you've got your static mesh, your normal one, won't do anything then you've got your interpret actor which will be used with Matini so you'll be allowed to make them move whereas normal standard static mesh is one so I'm just going to add a normal static mesh at the moment and I'm going to drag that up All right, no. So that's about it for just adding it. And you know, I'm just gonna get myself back in there. So, yeah, here's your static mesh. You can't walk through it or anything, but, I, but if that's really necessary, I'm going to show you how you can do it. Just go right click, static mesh actor properties. And I've already expanded most of these tabs, so let's go to first of all I'm going to go to collision so block all or if you choose no collision press play sorry I pressed on the wrong window and then you walk up to it you can run straight through it but you don't really want that otherwise people will be going out of the zone or just screwing with your game basically so I'm going to go back to the, the settings and choose block all let's block weapons touch all so yeah, there's just different types there. Um, what else is there? Oh, yeah, static meshes can be moved around using the normal transformation tools. So let's just go choose the rotational tool. You can spin it around, do whatever you like. You can put it on the ground, for example. Oh, or you can move it around. These. Yeah, that's about it really you can make it bigger etc one thing that you have to do uh, lighting is not the only thing that you have to work with when you build something when you put a static mesh in there you still have to rebuild the lighting every time you make one for the shadow effects to go in just gonna give that a second and it will be done any second now and there we go now let's go back to the properties what else have we got here uh... physics okay so oh god so basically what these are like you only need to worry about a couple of these so just go here physics so let's say you want it you want it to be falling it will fall straight down swimming it will like float up and down flying or fly for example that's so the only ones you really need to worry about um, you can hide it so when you pl press play you won't see it the shadow w won't be there once you 
uh, build lighting, but you can use uh, hidden objects as like an invisible barrier to stop the player going somewhere you don't want them to. Let's go put that back up there. Um, y yeah, that's about it really. That's all about. That's all I wanted to show you. So uh, thanks. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my website www.extremetechnology.co.uk and look forward to the next tutorial tomorrow where I'm going to show you static, uh, static meshes.